All right, let's 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 put to let's put to use all the nice knowledge and things we learned from that panel. Hey, man, you got a movie where you gotta you gotta go to. Welcome to the podcast. This is episode X plus one, continuing on from last. I think time. it actually is episode X. What the fuck is episode X10? Like 10, yeah. Are we on 10 already? I think so. Well, I, I used X as a variable for last time. Yeah, you did. Oh, but I, I think last week's was 9. 9. Okay. Yeah. Well, on episode 10, uh, it's your boy, Maybe. Uh, Skinny Penis. Actually, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. Skinny Penis, huh? It's that's, your boy, that's Angry Penis. <laughs> <laughs> your boy, Zuh. <laughs> Let's go select DX. Let's go with that. Oh, uh, like Jesus that. Christ. We got skinny penis, skinnier penis, and the skinniest <laughs> of penises in here. Sure. And angry penis all the way in the future coast. <laughs> future coast. Future coast. God damn. So, uh, Alright, so uh, we're going to make this quick because Endgame is out at the time of this recording and we got uh, people who want to go see it. So I've, uh, I've seen it, so I shall tell you the uh, ending. Two of us here haven't seen it, and I'm one of them. But you don't mind seeing it. Yo, know, screw this. Uh, Turbo Select DX podcast number X-10. Jeff spoils Endgame. Let's go, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> the, the spoiler cast. The spoiler cast. The spoiler cast. When, you, spoiler when cast. you upload it, when you upload it, just write uh, Avengers ending spoiled. Oh yeah, that's people, the quickest way to have. People watch. People will watch. You watch. Ow. <laughs> All right. So All right, forget so, that sound because I touched the table and so Matt's like, having a conniption. Like usual, I guess was how we usually do it. We're just gonna sit here and go into what we did, what we've been doing, what's going on. I'll start since I'm gonna be probably leaving midway through this podcast. You can edit me out if you want. Yeah, why don't you stop wasting time? Anyway, and get to it. I know. So. Last week, actually it was like two weeks ago, I two think. Two weeks ago. Um, week Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. They came out with a new DLC, the last DLC, I guess, for it, which is the Batgirl DLC, which also which adds the character, playable character Batgirl. But also, to my surprise, I didn't realize they were adding a whole new a whole new level. like level and shit. So in the game, there's a there was a midway through the game you, you Throughout the game, you collect what's called death balls, which are like levels that you go through. And one of the one of the death balls was called Killer Marathon, which ended up being like a bootleg copy of like. No, that the, was a real one. No, it was or it was an unfinished, whatever it was. No, and that the, wasn't the unfinished one. Killer Marathon. Which one was the unfinished? No, Car- one? that was uh, Doctor Juvenile's. Uh, that was before the CIA thing. That was the unfinished one. You think? Yeah, of. That was in the Killer movie. Marathon was the unfinished. No, that's not Killer Marathon. Are you sure? Killer Marathon's the new one. No, the new one's 100 Killer Marathon. I was just looking at it yesterday. There's another Fuck one called, off. right? It's literally just called Killer Marathon. And then 100 Killer Marathon is the new one. We can fact check if we need to. It's the to imperfect it cell but either way, of the last level. Either way, the new they added a whole new level, new boss, everything. Um, Silver face is cool. Fucking 100 Killer Marathon is definitely... Something interesting. It was an endurance test. It of was your an patience. endurance test. I ran as soon as I started it. I fucking like, I didn't complete the first, the first like, get to the first checkpoint because I didn't understand how it worked. <laughs> I was like, time. what the fuck am I doing? There's a time limit because like they put a time limit and you have to run through the level and make it to each checkpoint and then they they give you they start over a new time limit once you get to the checkpoint. Um, it's so long too. Yeah, it's really long. It's basically just like it's like it's literally a marathon of you just running through and you don't have to kill every enemy but you're running through and like you just kill a bunch of it, literally it, it for it you get it the name 100 killer marathon you're literally running through and killing things until you reach the, reach the end and i forgot the the boss's name do you remember what his name silverface S- silverface silverface yeah he was uh, he's really tough actually for a guy who doesn't like to kill or fight a guy who has no actually turns. never killed or anything yeah, like that. He's which just is like, strange. I don't kill or fight. That goes against the intro, but I guess mm. whatever. Hashtag pacifist run. Yeah, Sands, pretty much. What are you doing? He, he was the, like the massive pacifist. But anyway, like you, you run through, you finish that all that shit, and then finally you unlock Batgirl because in the game, in the game's canon, in order to, you have to have all the death balls and it, like get some wish or some shit granted or whatever. So I'm gonna be removing my jacket because it's making noise being picked up by the microphone. Yeah, Everybody's so everything is making noise. Do you, do you remember up. what the boss well, said to you? What happens when we have a game? Um, no. What 
What did uh, he he say? was he was complaining about his DLC, yeah. and he's like, oh, "Do you yeah. have any idea how the percentage of people who even bought the game are gonna see this?" Yeah, this that's, is that's, bullshit. I, mean, that's, <laughs> I like that's what I, I kind of like about the game is this whole like meta thing about game development, and it's it's really it's really in there on it, and like I even like the characters comment on that shit, especially Travis. He comments on his name um, too much. What? Bug Bug Tricks, I think its name is. Bug Tricks, or yeah. Yeah, I, I fucking love that guy because he's just constantly like, "Don't trust anybody." Yeah, pretty <laughs> just, much. He's just giving you random pieces of advice. He gives you a lot. My favorite bit of advice that he gave you was in the beginning of the game. He's like, "Here's Grandpa Bug Tricks' advice." And he's just like, "Stories, stories of fucking uh, success aren't worth shit. People's stories of failures are worth more." Which I actually was like, "That's kind of true if you think about it." Success stories, like, it's the person's success, it's not you, and nor does it really work or cater to you. The failure, though, you can learn from, which made sense to me. Well, True. no, I don't think that's what it meant. I think he meant, like, people profit off of, you know, terrible things. Well, sure, but... Knowing Swery? That's Swery fucking Suda, that's probably what it meant. That's probably... It could be. But I took it, I took it the other way, which also was worthwhile. Uh, also, also, you didn't mention how the the whole thing themed after a pinball machine for some. Yeah, it is. It's themed off after pinball, which uh, you, really it's fucks obviously you up, apparent man. with all the, the the pinball flippers all over the fucking. Well, world. they're not gonna know that. Well, if you played it, if you played it, <laughs> I like that. No shit, those two didn't play it. Like what? I'm, I mean, the other two people in the in the podcast. Oh don't. Well, no, oh, they, yeah, they yeah. haven't played Travis no, Strikes no again, idea and they don't. They're not gonna. Know. I doubt they're gonna play it. My, my dick's in my hand right now. But if no anyone who is it. listening, oh, like one of you, will, <laughs> if they are listening, if you like, if you have played it, you'll probably know what you're talking about. What we're talking about. It's one of the best games of the year. But yeah, and once you do all that, you get Bad Girl. Bad Girl's like the fourth character that you get in the game, then. And, She's pretty fun. She's got unique skills, just like Shinobu does in Batman. Uh, I like how she like lights her bat on fire like she did in the original No More Heroes. That was pretty cool. But um, other than that, all I really did was play uh, play more Bloody Palace and Devil May Cry 5. I played a lot of Bloody Palace. I got to, so far, I'm up at level 80, I think 82? Floor 82 out of 101. I'm almost there. I'm getting there. Bro, 71? Floor 71 almost fucking did me in. If you get the one on one and you fight a bunch of Dalmatians, let me know. Oh, sure. <laughs> floor 71 is like, once I hit 71, I was like, why would you do this? Because at Floor 71, they throw a bunch of Furies at you. And for people who aren't in the know, with Devil May Cry 5, <laughs> Fury is probably the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Because all they do is teleport around, you can't hit them sometimes, and they'll sneak up on you and just fucking hit you for a reason. Like, this is how they are. And they throw three of them at you in that one floor. And apparently there's another floor later on, I think at like 87, I think it was, where they throw three more Furies at you, but now they're, they're da um, Dante Must Die Mode. It's at Dante Must Die Mode, which means every every enemy, every what? demon has a devil trigger. So like, the once they get, yeah, they throw a shit ton of those at you. They just throw Furies at you in Bloody Palace, like nothing. They can, they just throw them all over. So does the, the difficulty just like ramp up? And yeah, you? so like, the first few levels, you'll probably play at the normal difficulty. Probably for like, probably to like level uh, 60, I want to say. No, 40, like 40, somewhere around there. And then once you hit like 50 or 60, they'll, they'll bump it up to Son of Sparta mode. Like they change the difficulty. And then once you hit 80, that's when you run into Dante Must Die mode, which is the hardest difficulty next to uh, Hell and Hell. But Hell and Hell is like a whole oh. other thing. It's stupid because it's... Should all be Hell and hit. Hell. Well, hell and Hell so is your one hit and everyone's normal. This no, I, oh, that's heaven and hell. I'm thinking of them. No, heaven and hell is everything is one hit. Yeah, that's everything. what I mean. You should do that more often. I mean, sure. I mean, heaven, heaven and hell is like the easiest thing. You just shoot your gun and that's it. I know. <laughs> bang bang. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Yeah, literally, bang bang, get dead. Switch to the uh, Mega Buster. But I mean, I'm still gonna keep going with the uh, Bloody Palace. I'm pretty confident I can beat it. Uh, I was, I'm pretty sure I can get to what I want to beat it, which I want to. I've been doing it with Nero. Uh, Nero's probably my favorite character in the entire game. I don't really play. I play Dante every once in a while, but Nero's my boy. But that's about me. That's all I've been up to. What are you guys doing? What about Richard? What you doing? Uh, so, um, Kingdom Hearts released Critical Mode. Uh, a lot of mixed reactions because Critical, on a scale of difficulty, you got your, your standard mode. Um, 
But you had your easy mode, which is like one out of 10 on difficulty rating. And your standard is like a three out of 10. And then proud mode was like a six out of 10, but critical is literally like a 9.9 .9 out of 10, which is kind of what it's supposed to be, but nobody's really prepared for it. So running through, doing all the bosses, actually having to be mindful of, you know, 10 enemies that could probably two issues been sort of a grind. Um, other than that, just really been polishing up my skills in different uh, fighting games. Uh, broke out the PS3. Uh, yeah, <gasps> I was, I was playing right? Persona 4 Ooh. in the Ultimax. That oh. game is, it was actually more difficult than I gave it credit for. Like, it, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's really, really difficult. Um, piggybacking off of that, I noticed that I had uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on my PS3 with the Knives Chow DLC, which apparently you can't get anymore because they took it off the market in 2014. If you, yeah. I believe, like, if you, just like with Marvel's Capcom collection, whatever, and Marvel's Capcom, if you already own it, like, you can still no, they, download they, it. No, because they took the license away, so, like, it's no longer available whatsoever. Oh, like, okay. you can't download yeah, you it. Can't uh, get the, the, uh, you can't get the DLC for Dylan Schuma, if that's what you mean. Because, uh, I, uh... Recently, uh, when I was still at the apartment, like me and Jeremy were so often would play like PS3 fighting games, and mm -hmm. we read like uh, my fat PS3 finally shit the can and fucking just put wireless card and an Ethernet card just don't work anymore. So like I can't like connect to the network. Mm -hmm. So but I have like three other PS3s. I don't know why it's happened. So I've done like this slim like sliding one, mm -hmm. and we just re-downloaded like all my games off my library. And, but it was only like the Marvel's Capcoms, the you know Street Fighter Three Online Edition, whatever, and all that good stuff. They don't have SF3 online. No, they had it. Oh, oh no! I'm saying I I redownloaded the Marvel's Ca Marvel's Capcom Origins and Marvel's Capcom Two, and then Street oh yeah, 3 yeah, because they did say shit. Origins was no longer available yeah. either mm -hmm. to buy. That's why I stopped playing fucking because uh, I had the 2.5 uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 on PS3, and I was playing it when I was in Korea, mm -hmm. and my fucking wireless card and my Ethernet card just, just shit the bed, and fucking uh, I couldn't upload my save, so I was like, oh fucking, I'm done. You still have the Dark Starkers collection, right? Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. Oh, no, you, actually, I think I, I think a game shared it with somebody. Honestly. Also, you no. can upload your saves to it. Yeah, USB. I'm saying like it, my saves didn't upload before like. It died no, I'm saying you can transfer them to a USB. Uh, maybe. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, the Knife Shout DLC. So I'll probably be streaming that just because you know it's been like six years since it's off the market, and you know somebody's gonna tune in. I remember when they added online to that game. Did they? Like a year down the line. Like it was like two years later, I think. Yeah, like, they didn't, it didn't huh. have it right up front. Yeah, yeah it was it. shit. They got a dodgeball mode, which is also pretty shit. But anyway, <laughs> so Persona 4 Ultimax kind of difficult. Um, we're, we're doing uh, a little bit of central fiction. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually looking at Nitro Plus Blasters yesterday. Um, Don't? Do okay. I played it. I owned it. I mean, it's a fun game, but I mean, it's... If you're already playing, there are better anime fighters. Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one is that? Is it the one with like? It's the one with Sonico. Okay. Yeah, I think so they have Heart Sonico as a DLC and... character too. Um, like from Arco. Yeah, I think Heart is, and they had um, they have what's so the one with like from... the Sword Art characters and shit too. Or am I think the other no. one. They have they have the Fate um, what's her face Saber from Fate, and it also has uh, I forgot her name from Severed Kagura. But I mean, it's a good game, but there are better anime fighters. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm thinking of. That's that has like the sort of characters in the Green Hill Zone stage. Yeah, Deki Bunko, yeah, Fighting Deki, Climax. That's, that's a good one. one. That's what we should play. Is that on PlayStation Store? PlayStation Three. Oh, so it's old. You know, I remember saying I was gonna buy it once it came off PS4, and it never did. <laughs> At least here. Yeah. <laughs> um, that wraps it up for me. I'm playing this RPG called uh, Caligula Effect Overdose, which is like a Persona Five knockoff, but it's not too bad. Got a little complicated active battle system where you can kind of see the moves before you do them and characters are kind of um, interconnected as far as our attacks there's a lot of a lot of strategery going on but that really does it for me what that about works. you jeff uh hmm i don't know playing a lot of things you should talk about sekiro you yeah sekiro. he's currently playing sekiro, sekiro. sekiro whatever you want to call it oh it's really fun <laughs> fucking uh it's really it's 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 difficult but it's not it's actually one of the easier from software games because you don't have to worry about builds you don't have to worry about mid maxing stats you don't have to worry about things breaking you just have a, a sword right. ba basically uh the game re it really wants you to learn how to fight enemies like there's a lot of easy patterns to pick up eventually yeah uh you could do this thing called the makiri counter basically when someone thrusts 
a, a weapon at you and a red kanji shows up, you're going to want to hit circle. And that slams their stupid fucking weapon to the ground, and it uh, does poise damage, which is what you want more than, like, health damage. Because as soon as their poise is done, you can instantly kill them. Mm, what an interesting mechanic. Is that like the Is encounter from Onimusha 3, where it's like... Yeah, um, at, you know what, you could probably compare it like that, uh, but in that, with Onimusha, you had to make sure you hit them at the right time. This right, one right, is, right. you have to watch their move in order to, pa you're not pairing it, you're like, just doing a counter, it is not an attack, is what I'm saying. Mm. But yeah, it's comparable, I'd say. Okay. Anything else running through your, your fingers that- You were talking about, you were talking about Kingdom Hearts and getting critical mode, and I swear to god, like, all I see on Twitter, and the one Facebook group I'm in, all these little fucking kids crying about it, right? But if we go back in time, and you guys might remember this, when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, what did people complain about? It's too easy, you hit triangle all the time, right? Remember that? Yeah, when it so originally again, came out? like and you just not said, only that, I think it was the triangle effect that, that people had the complaints so, about. The story's terrible, they said back then, if I remember correctly. Like, people were confused on it because they're stupid. They don't fucking follow anything. <laughs> the other thing was there was a lack of content, too, if I remember correctly. Because most of Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, what? Grinding for weapons. Specifically, the Ultimate Blade. There's not really much to do in the base game. And then people keep jerking off about um, Final Mix. But we didn't get Final Mix until the fucking HD collections. And we only heard whispers of it 10 whatever years ago yeah so people are fighting i i really hate how people are shitting on kingdom hearts 3 so much granted i think like the the way the story went i i don't agree with uh, something at mm -hmm. the end but uh, overall i was satisfied i mean it was like fucking kingdom hearts 2 only difference is i had more control i would like, disagree with you there only because the lack of Final Fantasy characters and the lack of a Colosseum in Olympus, which were like staples well, for the first two games. Two things. One, I agree with the Coliseum, but the other thing is they've been, you notice it through the series, they've been like minimizing Final Fantasy characters That's over true. the years. They well, they're like, there's not, there's not as many. Well, yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy. I mean, was, like, they were, were always in the main game, like one and two, but you know, Chain of Memories and. 36, birth by sleep, 358, excuse me. They were in Chain of Memories, they were in Birth by Sleep. Uh, yeah, but they're, 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 they're in Dream How many were Their role becomes minimized. Yeah, but I mean, that was the crux of the game. It was like Final Fantasy meets Disney, and now in 3, it's like Sora meets Disney, which, you know, for... Well, they yeah, don't but have it had to... more impact when it was like... I guess the, the initial, like, like all of it was like over, or whatever, I guess. Uh, people were just like, give us more Kingdom Hearts, and they were like... I've... Uh, I've just I've just noticed that when I when I think back in the day about the comments or Kingdom Hearts 2, it, it, history is repeating again. People are like, "Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is this, it's that." It's like you stupid assholes. People complained about this over a decade ago, and then people shut up because Final Mix eventually came out. Mm -hmm. Shut up. And I'm only saying this because I'm a fan of it, but uh, I do like how they're like, quote unquote, incorporating more of the world ends with you into it. I mean, I know it wasn't oh, yeah, that much I, in I Dream think, Drop, but like, with the... Be interesting. You know in 3, that's not The World Ends With You, right? Like, the ending. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm, I thought there was a... No, it was, con it was confirmed it's not. Oh, never mind then. Oh, oh, fuck I'm, me, I guess. I'm drop a, a, drop up, a link I, in that so, Other group. people told me that. Other people told me that shortly after the game, people beat it, but then it was confirmed, I think, by Square, that it's, it's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need that tweet or whatever, because that definitely looked like Shibuya from... I mean, well, like, I, apparently like that's an actual like Japan. Shit. I don't well, know, it is a yeah. yeah but, well, I mean, like, the, 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 fact that, the fact that they, like, made a big deal about it and, like, kind of, like, went out of the way to point it out right. when it was, like, a staple in the world of the year. I don't know. If that's the case, I'm not even bothered with 4 if there is a game March 4 because I'm kind of, after 3, know, I was kind of burnt out. You don't know if they'll come back. Well, did you buy, like, question, Matt, did you buy the HD, well, did you buy the Switch port of The World Ends With You? Yeah, I got it for, uh, Tammy for a birthday. Okay, good. I was gonna, I was gonna call you, I was gonna call you out. No, I, I kind of want to play it, but, like, uh, I'm waiting for her to finish it first. I don't like jumping into it. She's using a stylist, right? Like, yeah, she's uh, she's playing a handheld mode. Yeah, no, that's what you do. Like I was telling you, you you uh, you do that and use a stylus on the screen. It's basically like playing the the the, the DS game, but like. Did you try it? Uh, did you try it without a handheld I, mode? I don't even want. It's so frustrating. I don't even understand what Square was thinking. Like, oh, let's not. Fix, let's not change this to accommodate people you, with homework control. Do you still uh, 
actively like uh, control two different characters when you're in uh, no when you're in uh, you, dock you mode. You still when it's docked, you have to use the the switch joy cons to waggle it around oh, on the screen. That. Uh, yeah, on the like TV, that. it's so so dumb. Force fucking motion controls. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like a that sounds like a handheld switch kind of mode game to play. Fuck that. I ain't about that business. On switch, I, uh, and I uh, same thing with Jeremy. I uh, I did tra the Travis strikes again back DLC. It was really fun. I liked it. Since we're uh... I didn't I didn't care that much about fucking Bad Girl coming back though. I don't know why that was a. I don't. I don't get Suda. He like literally connected every single one of his fucking games. You're not gonna know half of it if you, if you don't even know any of his. Like if you don't know the dead. silver case, the silver Killer case, seven. the 25th Ward, fucking. fucking <laughs> There's so uh, shadows of the damned. The shadows of the damned thing is fucking didn't amazing. He also do uh, that Let It Die game. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's he didn't. Okay. Good, so Travis wait. Skin. Wait, wait. He didn't. He didn't do a lot of those games. He had like a hand in them, but mm. it's not actually him who like who wrote most of them, and, you know, or directed them. He he's there in name, but it's he didn't actually like make a lot of them. Shadows of the Dam, yeah, Shadows of the Dam was his though. He really, but that that's a messy story for another day. Yeah. So since uh, it's still kind of fresh with this whole Kingdom Hearts talk, and I haven't really been playing anything besides like Smash Brothers and the fuck faggot. Uh, hey now, I'll we'll bleep it out. But anyway. <laughs> um, uh, did you hear about that uh, right Kingdom Hearts Three Remind like DLC or whatever, Jeff? Oh yeah, I just heard about it today. Well, it just got announced. What yesterday? Yeah, like during that uh, that concert. I'm guessing. I it mean, was in it, Japan the concert. Yeah, it was. Um, did they pop a trailer for that? No. All oh. I know is, uh, I think I don't know. I saw it. Uh, it makes sense. I mean. Some people are upset, but it's like, get over it, dumbass. Like, it makes more sense to do that than release a whole nother fucking disc oh, copy like, for yeah, you to buy. Well, we also live in an age where they can do that, too. So, I mean, mix. I mean, they yeah. will. Like, you know, I mean, two years down with the line. Me, with me, personally, I don't mind. I don't mind rebond. Like, you guys know, well, except for Rich. I, uh, I tend to buy. Uh, oh no! I, I, I see that you like purchasing things over and over and <laughs> over. Like with, <laughs> with Street Fighter, I remember when Super came out. Uh, no, it was um, Arcade Edition was coming out. I got this copy, and I'm like, I want it. And people, were, some people were telling me I'm dumb doing that, but I, I want it. Like I, I just like having physical stuff, but uh, it I makes more sense it. to it makes more sense to do this DLC thing with Kingdom Hearts Three. Uh, did people think it wasn't going to happen? Like, I mean, they... I, I bought 1.5 and 2.5 on the PS3, and then bought it again for the PS4. Like, I don't, I don't have problems supporting beans. As long as you like, as long as you like it, who cares? Yeah. yeah. Physical, so there was, physical. Copies. There was a uh, no launch date or a pricing announced, but it's the free thing is the Keyblade, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's the Keyblade. They're adding a secret episode, secret boss, limited. Ep Limited episodes, whatever that means, in bosses. So I, I don't know. They're. I just really hope they're not like this rehash, like heartless these, designs or something. So, what like, if these secret hard. episodes have you playing as other characters? Like, Maybe character you play episodes. as Mickey with his shirt off. Oh. <laughs> with his shirt off. Okay. Do you do you know that like came full circle, right? What do you mean? Because Mickey in Kingdom Hearts One didn't have a shirt on. Oh yeah, yeah. He was uh, shirtless. He just had. He was that, like base Mickey. He had that was that's. Head. That's the thing the more I remembered. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, um, I like but yeah, like, um, this, will, this DLC will essentially turn Kingdom Hearts 3 into a uh, final mix that people want to cry about. So I, I don't get people, like, is this younger generation where they're just like, well, you know, they had in Critical, it's too hard. You guys this, wanted uh, this. This Remind DLC is a uh, one hell of an expensive way to remove the voice actor for Olaf's uh, voice from Jap Japanese to a uh, <laughs> fucking remove from the game. This uh, one hell of a way to do it. I still, I still feel really bad for that. That guy didn't deserve that. You do the crack cocaine, you pay the, you pay the price. You, you get erased. You pay the time. That's, <laughs> that's that's how it is in Japan. I don't know why people are still so surprised. Uh, about that. Thanos Sensei, he did a uh, crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's just how it is over there. Like, don't do drugs. You know that shit's gonna fuck you over. We talked about that in episode. We did. We X did have last one. episode. <laughs> Whatever X the fuck is one. <laughs> X minus one. <laughs> but yeah, no, the 
I, I don't know. I mean, hopefully it's not too expensive. Uh, I'll probably buy it because I liked Kingdom Hearts 3 for the most part. It was just a little, uh, you know, a little underwhelmed, a little underbaked. Since you're yeah. on topic of, you know, things underbaked? that just got recently announced. Okay. I mean, this wasn't really recently announced. It's, right. it's been announced a while ago. But Persona 5, Persona 5 are the Royal. Are the Royal. Yeah, yeah, I, it's like, uh, fuck really Nintendo. Free. They're like, thanks for putting Joker in uh, Smash. <laughs> Bye. Man, like, it's well, that's the can problem I, can I say see... how much I was laughing? Yeah, I, I saw you were talking about that. Cause people, <laughs> people expected there to be a Switch version, but it's just like, but they never said it was going to be on Switch. Dude, no one fuck. ever said or I just want to know what goes through like Nintendo's like mind when they're like, let's add this character. Let's and hopefully add Atlas will put their game on there. Like, is Let, there like a let's, deal? Let's add this Are they character. Working on something? That, that just... Sony, um, Sony were the ones who backed Persona 5. Most. Yeah, like, that's true. Know, that's why it was exclusive. They paid. For, yeah. well, it, it is exclusive, I should say. I mean, aren't they getting like that the Q3 or Q2, whatever the fuck it is? Oh, like, Q, isn't this... Q2? That's, that's, yeah, they're getting out, isn't it? For the, the 3DS. No, no I, thought a new, I, thought a newer ones, I thought a newer one was coming out. Oh, though, that's out. Like, oh, that's out. Like, oh, that sounds good. Yeah, Q2. Is that, that Switch or 3DS, though? 3DS. 3DS. Which is, it's dumb. Now, this R, this Royal, it's supposed to add a new... Character? Yeah, the new character Kasumi. I don't know where her uh, her fucking Arcana is, but she's I, I she's a she new character. It's the, it's the Arcana of pissing like, people off. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't know if you guys if, if people are in the know or saw on Twitter, but <laughs> one per, one particular person saw this character's design in, in full outfit when she was at the party, and, be, and she's wearing a leotard, which is like she's a gymnast apparently. Mm. Her character's a gymnast, so she's wearing a leotard and she's got this cool coat. And she's got a rapier, and she's got a fucking Winchester rifle. That shit's dope, by the way. I love her design. But she has a leotard, and some motherfucker on Twitter was just like, I'm going to make this design better, and gave her leggings and a skirt. And it's just like, uh, Atlas needs to stop being horny, or some shit like that. And people are just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? They're just like, why are you changing people's design? Stop it. It's so stupid. It was so they, dumb. This was, she was shows this a, little legs. Was this a fan artist, They're... or was this like, what? It's some 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 fan artist on fucking some, Twitter. So why does it some jerk off. Because it doesn't because, matter. Because it doesn't, Twitter no, has made everyone. No, there, there's a the, the reason is that because they're like, oh, Atlas is sexualizing minors. Oh, again. that too. That's the whole. That's the whole crux of it. But it's like the design. I didn't. I looked at it. I'm like, I don't see the. Okay, so she's sewing legs. Okay, whatever. I mean, move on with let, let's line. be honest. All of us here. Look at look at a little bit of anime girl. Okay, so you know uh, nothing like that would surprise. Us I was gonna say if you're a female stuff. character coming from Japan, you're and you're eighteen or under, you're being sexualized. Like it's, it is what it is. It, it I just mean, happens. I brought she's, up. She's, um, she's a gymnast. She's wearing leotard. We see gymnasts uh, on fucking. But I also, all the time. but I also wearing think leotards. that like when shit like that happens, it like you know people actually wear that shit in real life. So what's the fucking big deal? It's not a big deal. I brought deal. up the fact that I'm like, well, I didn't see people really complaining about Anne's skin tight outfit that you know. No, of course. It's like a dominatrix like outfit. Like it was a bad bitch as well. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean it's a game. It's a game all about fucking uh, sex, like extremes, and shit like sex. that in in life. And like that's sex. what Persona, Persona Three, Persona Four, Indeed. Persona Five. Like these all do this shit. So I don't know why people are surprised. Let's have some sex. <laughs> yeah, some sex. <laughs> Hesh and wants some sex. <laughs> Hesh wants some sex. <laughs> I'm fifteen. I'm horny. <laughs> so Hesh when. Wants some uh, sex. When they announced the, uh, at that concert, the Pete concert, when they announced um, yeah. the uh, Royal and the, the Musou game, I, I laughed. Well, Jeremy saw it, but I, I was actually physically laughing when I, when I wrote that, by the way. just the, It's just so funny. People were having meltdowns. Just, why, why isn't base Persona yeah. 5 coming to the fucking so Switch? And it's like, so upset that buy a PS4, Switch. you cheap fuck. Like and it would be like I'll be I'll admit it would be nice on Switch, but I'm still gonna I'm I'm definitely gonna play the the new version on PS4 now. Coming from a person who who bought a Switch just for one game in particular, it's not necessarily feasible to go out and just buy a system for one game. Oh, yeah. was that the game I was talking about? Was the the second T's Persona Five against Persona Five S? Yeah, apparently, S, which uh, is like this action RPG game. or whatever. I was gonna talk yeah. about that too. Uh, Persona 5 Scramble. What's Scramble. That it's it's a Muso game, a Warriors game for people who do oh, Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely gonna play the fuck out of I that. Stand those games. I imagine I love Jeremy was games. like he had a boner. Uh, bro, I love those games. I love. Those I know shit. you do. 
I'm all I don't about know, it. That shit just gets kind of old. It's like, yeah, I've, I've slain I mean, 3,000 people in this one level, and now I get to fight. Are any of them really dead? I just saw them run away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's fine. They're not They're not for everybody. Those games are not for I like, everybody. I like how Tecmo Ko is like the Swiss Army knife of the game industry. Like, it's always Warrior. It's been Warrior games for the last few years. They've somehow managed to get rights to different properties in terms yeah, of the warrior it's crazy, right? like, how do we take piece, zelda, zelda how do we take zelda and make it a warriors game add a scarf to that motherfucker nintendo's just horn zelda out there's like you're, they're like you ever heard of crypt of the necro dancer oh <laughs> yeah that was cool I like that. dude actually uh that's that's a that's a good one right there that's a big deal actually because nintendo's good. never let their shit out to indie developers that's the first time yeah, I mean, Ever. I mean, they let them out to developers. They're in that what was not it, the, not uh, in not indie developers. Usually, close knitted like Japanese developers. Well, I mean, like back in the what was it, the 3DO deal or whatever, with the fucking shitty ass Zelda games and Mario yeah, but games that doesn't right? those, those weren't indie though. Yeah, I know. I was just saying that was like, well, the the Miles Well, been, well that was a trash. time before indie was indie, so trash. Was and that wasn't the 3DO. That was whatever. CDI, it's... CDI, CDI. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's a it's a really big deal. What does what does it mean? It's a really big deal to see that though. <laughs> what did you, so, you say, Jeff? That it, it's really cool to see that that Nintendo is willing to let people use an IP as big as Zelda for their indie title. Yeah. Crypt of the Necro Dancer is a fairly big, well-known indie title, but still, you, you see the point. Like they even made they got the. Did you see the sprites for Zelda and Link? They're so cool. Yeah, they everything in that game just looks so much cleaner than uh, the you know basic first Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which is understandable. Well, they, I mean, like they probably have more freedom to work with whatever Zelda theme in general. Although it'll be funny. When you're fighting Gan, I'm assuming you'll be fighting Ganon and you dance into a beat. <laughs> Ganon's like, oh, I wonder what's going on. I did not based, fucking resurrect for this shit. <laughs> based on the uh, based on the sprite stuff and everything, I'm gonna assume it's just Pig Ganon though, just the big version. Probably. I doubt it's gonna be humanoid. They never do Pig. I just they hope, always uh, do Pig Ganon when it's like that. I just hope Cadence becomes part of like the uh, Zelda lore forever and ever and ever, but she's not. Is this Ganon? No, I don't know. I just hope, I hope it is because I fucking love it. I'm sure, they'll throw, I'm sure they'll throw it in there somehow. Let's be like, all right, we have the what? What's that book called? The fucking Hyrule story or whatever. The oh, Enchiridion. Yeah. Oh, I have that. Oh, we're not <laughs> talking about Adventure Time. The Hyrule, the Hyrule story, and they're just gonna be like, how can we fit this in here and slap it? They're just be like, right. So right there, here. when Gandorf is about to defeat uh, Link and Zelda, here comes this bitch with a shovel, hits him in the back of the head, <laughs> just like in Mortal Kombat Four. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Will somehow slip Shovel Knight in there somehow. <laughs> and then Jake comes and saves him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Adventure <laughs> Time. Well, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Wow. How have we, uh, have we not, any, anybody here playing that? I'm I not. Know, I uh, fucking hate no, those games. Not. I do too. They, they, they just. I don't. I don't hate them. I appreciate the stories because I watched the story mode and it was actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I always appreciate story modes at NRS games, but. I just hate the, 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 the gameplay. It's just like it's not even the gameplay because I like I enjoyed ten and I enjoyed nine really? for the most part. But like I just I, I hate like target combos. Like mm -hmm. you gotta press this, this, and this, and then this, this, and this in a particular order. I just like the freedom that anime fighters and versus fighters give you, where like you just chain A, B, and C together, and then you fucking launch or whatever. Then you chain A, B, and C together, or you can make it fancy and do all this other shit. Like mm -hmm. I, I just like. I just so like that freedom. You, you realize chaining A, B, and C together in itself is a target combo, right? No, I'm the same. Wow. Like, but you get the freedom. Holy like, shit. Wait. I think you're just biased because Reptile's not in the game. That too. I mean, or Smoke. <laughs> smoke. Yeah, they're, they're well, okay. dead. Smoke's not playable. But I'm I surprised. Think I'm it. actually surprised they didn't bring Reptile back. He's dead. Well, now with the fucking. Did anyone see so the game? So were a lot of the other characters. They keep did you see that in the game? Mm. Oh, the story, whatever. Do you see that in the oh, story? I've watched. I, I mean, I'll, I'll it, probably watch it on Max's it, channel. It, it, inserting it's, spoiler dude, it's like right almost now. a four. Spoiler cast. It's like a, yeah, but it's almost a four hour movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty long. Spoiler cast starting now. Pretty much the way they ended the story mode, it's like they're rewriting time, so anything's possible now. They reset yeah. everything. Yeah, exactly. really? yeah. And, and Liu Kang's fucking the he, thunder. He's fire the thunder god. fire god because him and like Raiden like fused, like fused together. together. Like his soul, be their soul become one. Well, if Raiden's yeah. not with a part of him anymore. Yeah. Now, 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 Liu Kang is the new god of Earth Realm. But and he's also, but it's weird though because he's also like he's shaping time now. He defeated Chronica and he had like access to her hourglass, whatever. What the fuck? And they're like. And fucking Liu Kang and I think Katana are like, so like what Luke, do we do now? And he was like, anything we want. Liu <laughs> Kang, fire god of time. So so the whole thing about the story was that like Chronica keeps resetting time over and over yeah, again. Yeah, and I, each I and each like iteration of time, 
Raiden strikes down Luke Kang for whatever reason. Yeah, they, she and is forcing uh, she Raiden like, and Luke Kang to fight like, each other because when when uh when Raiden kills Shinnok, that's apparently Shinnok and Cetrion are uh, her her they're, kids. Yeah, they're and both. Shinnok's like darkness and Cetrion's light. Like, and he fucked with the balance when he when he killed Shinnok, Ooh. whatever. Or he fucking beheaded him, whatever. So all that shit happens, and she's like, "Yeah, I've been putting you guys together for like eons and shit like that." And fucking Raiden's like, "No more," and he like. Just fucking fuses with Luke King or becomes one of them. He's the Thunder Fire God now, and the defeater. And then, then they're like, "What do we do with time now?" He's like, "Anything we want." Yeah, it's it's. You should say at that point that like once at that point, like at the end of the game, Kronika successfully kind of just like wipes everything because that's their whole goal. She wants to set her own timeline. Like she wants her own timeline with like specific events set, mm. and like they don't want nobody else wanted that shit. And by at the end of the by the time we get to the end of the game, she's already successfully wiped everything. Everything's reversed. Except for Liu Kang, because he's his godly power. And all she really wanted to do was just get rid of Raiden. Like that's one of her biggest. Yeah, goals. she wanted to completely get rid of Raiden, which she got rid of Dark Raiden in, in the in the main timeline, and then then you can go back to the past, and we get past Raiden. He comes into the story somehow. So, so I gotta ask, Matt, did you bring up Mortal Kombat because of the controversy people are trying to? Oh, well, the, the it, was, it was a weird thing, segue because yeah. we were talking about uh, the end Kyridian Avengers time, and he had mentioned Dishevel, just like Mortal Kombat. Wait, Rich, 4. did you hear about that? Huh? No, I didn't hear about I, it. I know. I know. Oh, what's going on. oh you yeah. guys didn't hear about it. I know. Oh. I know about it. I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, man, that is the dumbest. Like, Richard's lost. So, uh, so, okay, so the character Jax, you guys know, him, big black guy with the robot oh, that, arms. Yeah, it's not even. Yeah, yeah, that. So in the game, and pick up where, where Jeff left off. Where Jeff got cut off. So basically, there's an ending in the game where Jax goes back and gets, like, because each character has their own character endings. Mm. Uh, Jax gets, he, he beats Kronika in the arcade mode, whatever mm. you want to call it, arcade ladder. Mm. And his ending is he gets the power, Kronika's power to go back in time and mess with time and all that shit. Mm. He goes back in time and he wipes slavery from ever existing in the US. And people were upset about that. He didn't wipe slavery, he, uh... He prevented it. Or no, he just like, he just made the world like overall a better place. That, well, that's what that's the whole point. It's like yeah. he's like I don't want people being slaves. So basically, the whole thing is like he made it so. I don't it never think he happened. even mentioned so, slavery. In the he did. Ending. He's like pe people what? like. See, when I watched it, I saw that because he was wearing like the African garb and stuff, no, no, and no. I was like, I was like, did he? I was like, did he just like get rid of segregation and shit? But I was like, I picked it up as he just made the world a better place. He and specifically he says people like me were were enslaved. He's like, See, I'm going to change that. That's yeah, but very... he was also a revenant. And he was enslaved in another way. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Talking about this, I just feel like in this time and era, stuff like that should probably just like not be touched upon. You know, like okay, like I mean, I get it. Black guy with black guy with the power of time. He wants to go back. He wants to be good. I mean, like you know, do you know change? See, I didn't take that as him ending slavery. I took that as him being more better place. There was there was a. Two other things to that. Okay. Besides um, getting rid of slavery, he also wanted to have a good family, like uh, his family to live, you know, comfortably or whatever. Yeah. The other thing was when people started talking about it, like, well, fucking Shao Kahn was enslaving people for thousands of years, and he didn't do shit about that, and that's why people were like, it's racist. Excuse me, that's uh, that's another realm. We ain't worried about them. We're worried about. <laughs> and I'm just, okay. I'm thinking, like, dude, how, how. How do you like the black guy wants to stop slavery, wants to abolish it? That's racist. All you know, right, it's racist because it was pointed out. All right, you just it, have to let it. Know, the whole, the whole, the whole <laughs> because, situation. Because is Reddit so pointed it out. It's so Reddit. dumb. It's yeah, like, I, I honestly took that as like you know, Jax was a revenant at one time. He was a slave to fucking Quan Chi. I just took it as like he abolished that. But well, whatever. regardless, people took it a completely different route. Well, of course, fucking it's because, yeah, fuck. it's, it's dead. <laughs> But anyway, you were talking about something else controversial, Jeremy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Well, I think Jeff was also going to touch on that as well. Oh, go ahead. It's Jeff. like the whole, I mean, the whole thing uh -huh. is like, there's a, uh, with the game, it came out in the States and um, we're unlocking certain things. Oh, oh the yeah. Powers. Gear. Um, oh, it's, it's, oh boy. it's stuck behind, it's not a paywall, it's stuck behind literally a like, time dedicating, wall. yeah, a time wall. Like, you know, yeah. guess how funny is that? The whole game's about time and shit, and you gotta dedicate all your fucking time to unlocking 3,000 hours. 
Because, like, they they stick it behind, like, the crypt and a bunch of other things, like getting fucking tokens, mm. uh, hearts, as they put it, mm. um, souls and shit. Mm. And you get, like, minuscule amounts of that shit. And it's so expensive. It Everything so takes forever. It. So and not just that, then you have the Towers of Time. And the Towers of Time, in the current state that they are, are fucking ridiculously broken. Now, now the, you say that, but I watched Max do a playthrough with um, some character. Whatever character he's playing Noob Saibot. Noob Saibot, yeah. Yeah, he likes yeah. Noob Saibot. And he just <laughs> fucking flew through it. Like, it didn't That's look different, but it's Max, so. If, if it's. Well, it depends, because he, you probably watched. He only really. It was only eight eight matches. Yeah, so. he probably played the regular arcade. I actually tuned into that tower. Like, live stream where he actually talked about how, like, everything moves so fucking slow in that game. Mm. Like, they just took a minute to talk about it. The uh, You probably watched him play the regular arcade tower, which doesn't have any of that bullshit. Mm. Um, the towers of time mm -hmm. are the ones that have like you fight an enemy you fight whatever and they have all these different like buffs and all kinds of things happening oh, yeah, like, no, I don't so like for example was... you're fighting against the computer and like missiles are coming out of nowhere and hitting yeah, you, yeah, or it's raining snowballs that freeze you didn't and shit they, like uh, that. didn't they release a recent combat cast where they, they, they said did. they're fixing they it they recently said recently i think it was like two days ago that they said that they were gonna plan on fixing it or putting a patch next week this, or is, like this is what i understand it's like you knew that was in the game like, did you not have somebody play test those things and say, hey, you did, but still, they they, they really mistake. wanted you to spend your life. Yeah, they, they, they want you. Is there an option to actually pay pay for it no. like, with money? No, nope. it depends. There are some things that you can buy with money. So like for but it's ridiculous. So like I watched oh, like Mac, the intro when I was watching. Yeah, right? when I was watching Max stream it. They were going over it, and they were looking at the premium store. In the premium store, you could buy certain things like intros and outros. And the one thing like that they looked at was Jax's intro, which was seven dollars and fifty cents mm. just for an intro, for mm. one intro, where you'd be paying that amount of money for a fucking Blaze Blue character in Central Fiction, like what? Or the cheaper fuck? for Joker. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. the stage and his music, <laughs> and the stage and it, his with music. two outros. It's like, kind of ridiculous, three. like. Like NRS is a good, de they're good developers. They're a good team. They make they make good games. I know some people don't like their games. I like NRS games. Uh, I, f I find them fun. I just don't play them as much or to the level that most people do. But like this this one thing, I feel like they could have worked and did a little bit better because like there's all this customization bullshit and people want to. Some people, especially the casual people, they want to jump into this game. They want to play the story, but they want to play all the single player, the other side content, and unlock shit for their characters, and they can't do it. Because you're you're they have to dedicate all this hard. time. <laughs> yeah, there's like all the shit that they gotta do. See, all find the it, shit they gotta collect. I find it interesting that uh, Richard was like, did they like you know play test this? Did he see it? Like when you actually quality assure and play test it, even like test that kind of shit. They're like, oh, if I sit down here for like, well, does, does does NRS go unlock everything? And they're like, okay. From what I'm from my understanding, from what goes my understanding, from what I heard, Peace. with people in QA, and I don't, I don't, I'm not in QA, so I don't know any of that shit. But like from what I heard is like some people they'll like those people they'll get unlocks right I get a master key or whatever the fuck so they can test a every bit of like... a debug mode or whatever the fuck oh, and yeah. they'll sit there and be like sense. can you test and see if this shit unlocks properly like if yeah. these so outfits do it. so know. they'll they'll be like okay debug mode uh 250 hearts unlock the chest okay and unlocks it works mm -hmm. it's good you well know, also like if there's like different like gear and shit like you gotta make sure like this gear doesn't clash with this gear or some shit like that mm -hmm. so I would imagine like all this shit's just given to them for the most part yeah I don't know though. I'm not a fucking developer. I'm All not I know a is that they, they test the sheet if the shit works as intended and it unlocks. They don't really test and see if like if it how like how feasible and how easy it is to get everything. That's the problem. Yeah. So well, I see, I, I feel like well, how long were they working on the game for? Like for before it like released? Well, they they announced it back in December last year. Yeah, but I'm saying like like how yeah, long was like, it working? I know that's what I'm saying. Um. I don't know. Especially, don't know. especially when they're cold developing the fucking Switch version, because we all know damn well that. But it's funny build that you, for the PS4 and uh, Xbox was. It's gonna funny make it that on you there. say that because I just saw earlier today. This is this is piping fresh, fresh hot off the fucking presses. No. All right. Um, <laughs> stop it. Anyway, <laughs> well, I saw uh, stuff going on, and everyone's favorite story when it comes to uh, development is crunch. The whole crunch time. Mm -hmm. And this apparently people were complaining at um, NRS about crunch, crunch time for games. Mm -hmm. And that, that came up recently and I saw that. I didn't get I didn't get to read it all in depth. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. But there are people, uh, former devs, people that work there currently that were complaining about NRS uh, crunch time and 
dealing with the stresses of that shit and that that popped up recently so it seems like it seems like no developer is safe from that it seems like everybody's gonna get hit with that and ever someone's gonna complain about it well when you have a project and you have a fucking deadline and you have someone who's probably setting a deadline who has no who knows nothing about development you're probably gonna crunch yeah and just yeah. a little bit i had a nestle crunch one time and it just Man, wasn't for me delicious Whatever when Shaq used to endorse those, whenever that shit. Remember Shaq? <laughs> yeah. It everyone's, was just on Hot Ones not so long ago. Everyone's favorite cinnamon toast crunch. Get out! Oh wow! Point. I see yeah. what you did there. I'm yeah. not a fan of it. But yeah, that was that's that, there's there's quite some news circulating. Quote with, from with Rebecca Rothschild, former QA analyst: Nothing improved from Mortal Kombat 10 to Injustice 2. Everything was down to the wire. Yeah. I guess he did crunch. Yeah. I mean, that seems like a thing most developers are going to do. That doesn't seem anything. That doesn't seem like it's going to be like outside the norm. It's funny because like we like people are always complaining about crunching here in the states or like in the you know North Americas and like I wonder what the fuck they're doing in Japan because I know for a fact that crunching oh, yeah. over there all but, the fucking time. You know, I, I say that I say it. that about like it seems like a normal thing, but I, I've heard stories of people like fucking like absurd shit like. 76 hours straight or fucking sleeping at the office for like a week or some shit like that 80 like, to 100 hour week work weeks were common at another room for weeks or months at a time yeah while contractors struggled with low pay mm. that's what i'm saying like why would you want to be a game developer like th that shit seems so like unsecure this is like hey I'm gonna work for the studio. Budget cuts. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, well, what about my four hundred one k? What about it? <laughs> they don't have a proper union. They don't have any of those shit. So I mean, that's that's, that's part why of the problem. You gotta work at like Nintendo or some shit where like you can at least like keep your job. I feel like they have just as much crunch time as anyone else too. Well, I mean, like I'm just talking about like security when it comes to work because you never hear of like Nintendo or, or other companies just getting rid of people. That's the yeah, that's you because they're all over. You don't. Japan. You don't hear it. It goes fucking everywhere. Goes dark. Miyamoto just walks in. He's like. You want to complain about that now? <laughs> I guess not. All right, so it's about six oh seven. We got a we got yeah. a we got a thick boy over here who needs to get ready for thick. end game. Thick, thick, thick. Well, so let's let's I crash this down see. real quick because we there's some things we we're gonna talk about, such as our soccer experience and oh, Blaze Blue Tag. We need no. to get to that. So and, and so at soccer con, they had an Arc Systems booth that had a, the latest build of uh, well the dev kit or dev build the, of, it uh, has the, uh, of Blaze Blue Tag, tag. Yeah, with man. heart. Seth, Seth Teddy, Teddy, and fucking... That's it. Does it? Oh, I it was no. Nato, yeah, there was, yeah, there was, there was my four. bad. Nato. My bad. And, my and bad. Nato. And um, nobody got any footage, though, because yeah. we're all fucking scrubs. Yeah, yeah we should have recorded. We, I'm more about the experience. I sat down and played. I personally like Heart. She's a cool oh, character. Mm, I don't even awesome. like that. Too, well, so. you, you, well, I mean, like, I sat down and did that first tournament on Friday or whatever, and then I came back on Saturday or Sunday or whatever. Or Saturday. We played, Sunday. we played Sunday. But uh, when I sat down and played, I mean, I, I like Heart. Uh, nothing really seemed to change too much between the other characters, but we didn't really dive into much characters. I, I used Ruby, so I used Ruby and Heart, and uh, Ruby Heart. <laughs> uh, yeah, I played I played Heart, and uh, for anyone who's ever played Arcana Heart, Arcana Heart Three, Arcana Heart Three Love Max, or the fuck version. All about the boot. Oh uh, yeah, fuck the boot. Fucking What's her name? Kira. Yeah, Kira. That bitch. Anyway, Heart like she plays roughly about the same. She even has she even has the fucking air dash that they have. In this is this is like tied to her sea attack. Yeah, whatever, it, you know? like in, but you can only do it in air. I don't think I don't think you can do it on the ground. I'm pretty sure you can't. But I, I, I could be wrong. I I didn't play enough of her to find out. But you can do it. You can do it. Like she has her her little fucking air dash from Arcana Heart. It's similar, very similar to Super Dash from Dragon Ball Fighters, but not quite the same. It's not as stupid. Well, weren't people saying that the Super Dash from Fighters came from Arcana Heart or some shit like Who that? Who said that? Do you have a confirmation? No, I'm just saying like weren't people saying that shit? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Because you know Arcana Heart came out. Quite some time before. Quite Arcana some time. PS3. Arcana Heart, yeah, from <laughs> PS2? What are you PS2? guys talking about? Oh, I, I, I only know of Arcana Heart uh, 3. Love yeah, that. Arcana Heart's better. It's right? it's like PS2. <clears throat> I feel like Heart's a good addition to anyone's team. Uh, Seth was pretty fun. He just I never played him in Eunice or whatever. Heart? So yeah. Wait, this is the North Star? Huh? Sure. But he seems like a more like setup heavy character with his little floating game. balls or something. See, shit. That's that's how the thing is, I don't... I, I've been doing a lot of playing with Seth, and like he's not completely reliant on setting those up prior to his combo. Like all you need is a a low medium, and he can do everything that he needs to do in one combo. So he's not really set up heavy. It's more just fishing for an opening. 
I like he's very he has a lot of mix-up options I, well, I, don't, I didn't play the tag version of him but the units version of him he has a lot of and these tag version of the characters are whoo they're different yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they are so. spe- for example fucking nine. yeah 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 we're especially for example fucking nine after playing nine again in, in blaze blue center fiction i completely forgot how like she has she has like each specific uh element is tied to a button so water is the is the oh light. that must be nice yeah so like water is tied to like her her uh a button Wind is tied to her B button, and I think fire is tied to her C button. And you have to you have to mix and match the elements to get specific spells. Whereas in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, she it's all on like two buttons, all on two buttons, and she only has certain spells she gets that she just builds up. It doesn't you don't have to do specific elements, hit with specific elements to get the spells. You just get them when you hit. So I mean, it's, she's very different in uh, in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Very very different. And so, she, has a, she has a walk, an actual walk, unlike and, uh, all the other characters. The uh, the I got I, I did get um, I don't know if these two played, but I played the kill the kill uh, demo version that they had up at the, the arena, arena fighter. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the arena played. fighter, very similar to the Naruto brawlers. So don't uh, and the My Hero game that came out. So don't expect anything too technical or anime like fighters or blaze blue um just kind of a dash around um attack special attack and super attack it's the so. typical three arena fighter. would you, yeah, would you like compared to like no return <clears throat> shipping in or whatever or simpler more advanced but. um so uh, I'm, I'm they definitely added some different mechanics just because of the game um they have your normal attacks and they even have like a homing double x just like the naruto games but you know they have like a guard crash or guard break system um that doesn't deal with like a grab and then i'm I, I, when i i'll end up uploading the footage to uh, my channel but um you, you'll be able to see a lot of the different um gauges and whatnot that they have available so um that, that was pretty much it for um for that Except for uh, what else? What else did we do there? Um, well, I did the so you're sport, saying the got my ass beat. Oh, yeah, did the test so you're it, saying, got my ass beat. <laughs> from what I've seen, the kill a kill game is gonna be Garbage. really boring. Yeah, really, much so like the uh, My Hero Academia game. It's right. gonna be like any other 3D. It's gonna be brawler. just I like fighter. I don't get it. Like why? Why kill a kill now? Yeah. Um, you know what's yeah. funny that you say that? It's not just the game. You know that they released the fucking actual anime soundtrack just recently? Like the full on soundtrack? And made no, I didn't know that actually. Recently. Yeah, they they released the soundtrack for the anime just recently. They're just like, get it now. Wait, it's just like 10 not years. Before? Like, not ten years, but like so many years. Man, I was late. watching Kill a Kill when I first joined the army in 2014. That was five years ago. <laughs> that was a while ago. That was five years ago. What they need to do is work on the fighter system a little more. You know, make it, you know, work it up a little bit. Fighters? And then, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball? They, they no, need no, no, a no. huge update. Shh. They need to work on it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Shut up, shut up. Listen, listen where I'm going with this. Don't, and just, another don't even make it Dragon Ball Fighters. Just make it like Shonen Fighters. Stop making those stupid little arena oh, fighter okay, things that they okay. keep doing. That I, are trash every I, fucking year. I, like fucking Jump Force. I agree with a Marvel vs. Capcom-esque Shonen Fighter thing. I think Jeremy's stepping in. This is I mean, we 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 order it, with, boy. Wrap this out up now. I don't think yeah, there's anything else that we really need to talk Unless about. Unless you want to ride. No, I'm not. I don't want to take advantage of you. Oh well, I'm well damn, I just Tammy, so I don't know how you guys are leaving. No, they're they're getting a lift, but I just offered to ride, but apparently take advantage. So no, I, I said I don't want to. That there's there's. I mean, we'll we'll be heading more way anyway. So you pass me that? we could we could drop you off if you want. Right? If you, well, we're gonna leave now. I already yeah. ordered the lift. <laughs> oh, you're oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. Right. Cancel it! <laughs> you that? You yeah, I got you. Just give me a call. Right. <clears throat> Expect that spoiler cast for uh, Endgame yeah. in a few hours. I'll tell you all about how I am and got up in ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that one video. Remember when like. It was that like Galugan video where Thanos like beats Spider-Man. Oh, he does that fucking dance. Yeah, he does that fucking squad. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let's see if we can find he that. He does that moonwalk. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, um, I bought the movie Heavyweights on Blu ray. Heavyweights. How did I tell you that? Yeah, Heavyweights. You know, Ben Stiller, where he goes to that fat kid's camp and then tortures them a lot. It's fucked up. It's, wow. 
old oh, Disney oh, movie is oh, pretty Ben funny. Stiller. Does From 1995? Does that dude even do stuff? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the last time I heard Ben Stiller doing anything. He stole he a lot. No, I'm just kidding. Nah. Uh, he had Zoolander 2 come out like... I know, I know, I know. Seven, eight years yeah, ago? Yeah. But that was... That the was movie that one really asked for, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Kind of like Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, man. I, I think... Or Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Man, that was a really disgusting movie. Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, 2. Was it called 2? second. Yeah, it was Dumb, dumb and dumb Dumber. Dumber. Probably, but it was like dumb and Dumber. Or something. Like <laughs> I, remember going to, I remember going to see that back 2015, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, voice actor friend of mine invited me out to a convention, and uh, we all went to go see the movie. And fucking, I was just disgusted. I like actually like it was gross, you know. Not the not the fact the movie sucked, but it was just legitimately like oh. It's like when did when stop. did Jim Carrey not become? Because you know he used to be that guy, you know. Wait, no. My grand my grandfather would Thanks. always say I uh no, I Jim really Carrey liked. Him. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. You. I thought, I thought, for some reason, I thought we we're still talking about uh, Doom Land. My grandfather right. would always go, "I really like Jim Carrey. Why? Because he makes the funny faces." And now he's just like all like anti-violence, anti. Everything. He's just like. Remember when he did Kick Ass too? He's like, I don't like guns. He did. He agreed to the movie, and then out of nowhere, he's just like, "Please, nah. re- please remove any like possibility of anyone identifying me in this movie, please." Maybe wait until the movie's out. Yeah, so like, it was a good movie. I didn't even know it was him. It was like, I think you told me. I didn't even know it was Jim Carrey. I was like, "Yo, he did, did a good job of hiding." Not even hiding. It was just like just Masking. made him look like a different character. <laughs> like. Mask. Because he looked. Uh, he looked pretty. Uh, he looked pretty like good in a serious sense in a what was that one movie 21 whatever was that jim carrey too no 23 that was kevin or am i thinking oh, of ashen kush 21 is, is with the, 21 is with like kevin spacey and jim 23 Sturgis. is the one where he the 666 thing and the devil and, and it's all a that. number it was all like number. every time that number popped up like some some shit happened yeah that was, that was, that was that. Jim well, thought, yeah it was, it jim was carrey. 23 and he had like the more serious tone in that movie and shit and yeah. i was like they get a they did a good job of uh Hiding his goofiness. Mm. Also, uh, well, seeing as Jeremy went to go see Endgame, something relevant to that is that the movie worldwide has made it's made one billion dollars so far. Yeah, Jesus imagine making one billion dollars in a fucking two, three days, <laughs> in a fucking day and a half. Of uh, and I think domestically, it's made three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Three hundred three hundred fifty trillion million. It made three hundred and fifty million. Uh, opening day one. So since we're uh, since we're talking about movies and shit, uh, when you said you finished, like you're almost done with your collection, what did what did you mean? Just like personal shit that you just been wanting to buy for years? Oh yeah, yeah, it's been great. I'm really happy. The about uh, fucking heavy hitters, whatever, being one of them. Heavyweights. Heavy it's really, <laughs> it's really dumb. You should watch it. It's an old Disney movie when they just like let people do whatever they felt like. It's that shit would not fly like, today. I'm looking at the cover right no, now. No, <laughs> no, it wouldn't because like they're literally mocking fat kids constantly. There's one part where in the movie there's um there's this thing that on the lake where they can like jump on and then like it propels them into the lake. It's this neat little like trampoline. Oh, that like thing. the air. So thing. when Ben Stiller takes over, it just everything goes to hell and everyone's miserable because he's his fitness freak and he wants to get these kids in the shape in the most horrific way possible. So he has his people take like pitchforks to the balloon thing in the water and they poke it and they laugh about it. It's fucked it's, up. It's like the, it's like so, it's pretty fucked up but it's pretty fucked up. Remember uh, 90s TV and like I think early 2000s when they had like those like no, I fat don't. commercials? Where like no, one of them was like the a mom who fed her kid like fries when he was young and he became like morbidly obese when he was a grown ass man. And there was another one where this kid was playing like a bootleg version of like Pac-Man and they kept eating the snacks and they got fatter and fatter and the kid was fat as shit. And it was like, protect your children from heart problems down the line. (laughs) (laughs) Have them go outside and play a game. Put the treats away. (laughs) Yeah, I'd say that shit would not fly these days. People would be like, oh my god, what is this? I did buy all the, uh, I did finally buy all the Avengers, all the uh, Marvel movies. I always want, I kind of want to do that, but like, I feel like I'm too far I got away. a trick. I got a. I got a trick. You you know how each movie is like, that, dude. Movie's even Iron Man movie. One on Blu-ray is like twenty four dollars. That's insane. Iron so, Man One. Yeah, Iron Man One, brand mm. new, is twenty four bucks on Blu-ray. So what happened was I stumbled across on Amazon. There's these three packs, uh, depending on the f- film series, like Thor. 
Usually they're like twenty four dollars a piece. With this, it was like thirty three. That's sexy. Yeah, and it's it like... comes in a nice little box. Uh, I will say though, they are they're like imports from like Europe, but the. Uh, there, I looked at the I looked at the code, and it's um, the regions are ABC, so it works everywhere. Well, say that's like eleven bucks a movie. That's not so bad. Yeah, I no, do, that's I do like uh, also around like Black Friday time. Like sometimes the Blu-rays will be like on sale for like five or ten bucks. Sometimes I just can't believe Iron Man One is twenty four dollars. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of that's ridiculous. That's, that's pretty oh, scummy, damn. but Disney will do whatever they want. Disney's like the Nintendo. Of the movie world, there's like we're never be appreciating these uh, videos <laughs> ever. No, see, the, the thing is though, Nintendo's been doing things I like lately. Like what? Disney, Disney's just been buying all sorts of properties that make you scared. I mean, yeah, they almost own the world. Almost. They don't, they, <laughs> no. And like, I watched the the Mickey Mouse Funhouse thing, whatever, because my kid watches it, and like Mickey's speaking Russian, like he's trying to prepare us to for a Russian overlord or some oh, shit like God. that, and I'm like, no, oh, no. Oh, no, he says like Mishka really? Mushka, and I'm like, they just he you... he says his chant, and he goes like Mishka Mushka, and I'm like, why is he speaking Russian? <laughs> it's like Disney knows that the Russians are gonna fucking take over someday. <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, Mickey, not today. Sora, get you, <laughs> get your key blade, boy, mm. get your key gun. <laughs> get your key gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, wow, that was a good one. That that about exhausts the topic for episode X plus one. I miss our two to three hour uh, talks. Fucking Jeremy had to leave fucking and game. I mean, even if he were to be here, I don't think he could have added too much more. I think this is a, I think this is good content packed. You hear, uh, you hear how people are like yelling the spoilers at the movie theater when they're leaving. Uh, I saw that article about that dude getting his ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> Deserved, <laughs> bro. That's like that's like the equivalent of like ruining the old Star Wars movies. Like I can't, I can't believe Darth Vader is Luke's father. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine back in the nineties he said that shit. In the nineties, you gotta go further back than that, man. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I was only alive in the nineties. That's like the only thing I can really compare it to. I was like, all these fucking. You're, kid, you're just quoting The Simpsons. You're not yeah. original. I know I'm not original. I'm just saying, you're like, big, imagine fat, phony. I'm just saying, like, imagine that, like, that's like that's how I feel. It is like this whole like Avengers slash like Marvel movies like lead up to like this big reveal, kind of like how they all Star Wars movies kind of led up to something. It's like you don't fucking spoil it. But then again, they didn't have the internet. They didn't have that. But then again, if someone spoiled it in the movie theater back then, they'll probably get their ass beat and there'll be like no repercussions for it. Yeah. Be like, all this, all oh, young Bob got his ass beat at the movie, at the cinema for <laughs> spoiling the movie. Where, where's Bob today? Oh, he, he got fucked up. He, he wouldn't yell the spoiler. He's at the hospital. His, his bill's going to be well, $5. That must be, <laughs> that must be really pathetic that you got beat up at a movie theater over, over some spoilers, stuff. man. This is, this is 2019. If you're not passionate about anything, must be pretty pathetic that you're, uh, going out of your way to spoil something for everybody else. Hmm? An well, experience you can only get once in life. <laughs> maybe the people should have just manned up. I mean, I fucking if I go see the movie next week or something, I'm going to go in there with my clogging my ears and be like, ah, shut up! Are you going <laughs> to see it? Are you guys going to see it? Uh, probably not this week, because, uh, probably next week, because, uh, I don't know. I need, I need someone to watch my kid. And what about, what about I Sam? need to ask her. For this one, and she was like, "I'm not feeling well, and I don't oh, want to get yeah, it to no, no. So, yeah, she was actually legitimately sick. Yeah. The one uh, so I was I'll, like, uh, "What's up? I'll come over and uh, watch the kid." Uh, all right, I'll pay for your uh, six hundred dollar plane ticket to see this uh, <laughs> yeah, twenty five dollar movie. <laughs> Dude, fucking, it was twenty bucks to see this fucking movie. I couldn't pick anything other than three D. Uh, so sucks. pissed. Yeah. Like, sorry, the only thing that's available is our Ultramax <laughs> our fucking our, IMAX. Our <laughs> uh, comes with a dinner and a massage. It's like, I don't want all dinner that. Dinner and massage. These these glasses I give a 4D and <laughs> someone sucks your dick drop off. <laughs> I don't need my dick sucked. So, I need to see Thanos die. What do you mean? I, I don't need my dick sucked because once I do get my dick sucked watching a three hour movie, I can't go back. <laughs> this I'm is it. I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to lose it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> get my dick sucked right wait, now. No, wait, no. But no, man, I fucking yeah. I need which I need to do is come down for fucking soccer con next year. Hmm. How about we choose a different con? Well, it was more exciting. It was very under. I can't say that it was this year. Like legit. Like I'm being honest with you. Like it was like the first two years I went. Awesome, great panels out the fucking wazoo. This one was like you want to go to a panel that's good. There's also five other panels going on right now that are good. You better fucking choose one. <laughs> that's like it happens though. Like it happens. Like sometimes at a con, it's like an underwhelming year. Like it happened at Anime Next. It happened here. Like this. I enjoyed my time. It was alright the first day. I uh, definitely should have taken off. The only thing that sucks is uh, being tied down to a uh, 
to a significant other who wants to do something else and he wants you to go with wow, them. You, you gotta, you gotta edit this. Oh, no, God. I'm keeping it. They don't want, no one watches our shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, oh, folks, man. this is Turbo Select. See you guys later. <laughs> leave a comment, like, subscribe. If you leave a comment, we'll get back to you because we uh, have all the five. Uh, which call Where can people reach you at, Richard? Um, Blue Rookie YouTube. Uh, I have a Discord channel with like ninety people. If you like video games, so you can. Oh, you got Discord. Us. Yeah. You send me that uh, invite. Yeah, but okay. it's a bunch of nerds who play Fortnite. So I like nerds. All right. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bunch of fucking Smash ones and yeah, I saw that, but I wasn't gonna say. Oh, so fuck you, West, fucking West Washington people in your fucking discords. You you want a game and someone's like, yo, here's my friend code. Let's play a few games. They're like, I'll add you tomorrow. What the fuck's up with that shit? I want to play right now. You <laughs> fucking flaking asshole. I'm sorry. What about you, Richard? What you, not Richard. Rich. Okay, so you <laughs> blue fruit. What about you, Jeff? What you up to? Where can people find you? What, what, what is your uh, Twitter handle? And all Twitter. That shit? <clears throat> Twitter randomly. You gotta decipher my name though. Uh, don't, you, don't you run a Discord for JoJo fans? Uh, yes. <laughs> that was <a> very, <laughs> do, you, do you not? Are you ashamed? With uh, I, run, I, I run a lot of things. Okay. Uh, but uh, yes, I have a Discord and I have a Twitter. They're both very active. Okay. Um, yeah. You're going to tell people what that good is? Good, good luck finding it, though. Yeah, yeah okay. That's so, a, that's uh, it. Uh, <laughs> my, my Discord... Uh, I guess if anyone wants to hit up my Discord, just hit up my Twitter and ask me uh, for a link. It's uh, Music Edge, at Music Edge 2. At Music Edge 2, the number, or at Music Edge 2? Yeah, the number. Okay. Because um, I lost my... Uh... Twitter locked me out of my account originally. Wow. Yeah, probably I don't know why, yeah. and I tried it... to get it back, and they're like... I asked them, what's the reason why I got locked out? Sorry, I can't tell you. Their Twitter was probably like, there is someone who has like five viewers on Twitch right now, and they need the Music Edge name on Twitter, <laughs> so you can go fuck yourself, and uh, here's Music Edge 2. Oh, Maybe by the way, Alien, um, Alien, the 40th anniversary for Alien just came out, just uh, saying that. That's people it. should watch it. I really don't have any. Where, where where can people find you at? Do you run a Discord? Do I, I don't have Discord. I don't know what a dis. I don't know, like... Why I should even start on Discord because I ain't doing shit. Get, get with the times, old man. I mean, like, if I start Discord, it's going to be about probably Smash, Smash and there's and plenty of those yeah, around yeah. anyway. So, I mean, who, like, who cares? It's yours. Or you could join one. That's like, true. I, I, I join not even. I check in on my Discord like once a week and they're like, oh, you're here. Can you add this channel and do this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do it. But I fucking go away. I mean, yeah, I'm part of plenty of like. I, I follow a few people on Twitter. I mean, on Twitch on a Discord and I have like West, Western Washington Smash or whatever on Discord. I'm part of that, and you know, uh, I already. I feel like I kind of joined. Like, I feel like with some Discord groups, you kind of join late, and like everyone's already like a close knit. Like, yeah. yeah, and and like you, you're like, hi, I'm new, blah blah. Let's do this, and they're like, just fucking ignore you. So it's whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't really have any social medias on YouTube. I'm on my YouTube is newbie prod, and uh, N E W B I E P R O D. I don't know why people keep subscribing to me on that and not our Turbo Select page. Uh, I mean, I uploaded some music and other videos on there, but I haven't uploaded to that page in quite some time. When's the um, When's the Ocean County College uh, video gonna get uh, done? Shut the fuck up. Next year. <laughs> no, I'll finish that video when Fred finishes his uh, real big video. It's dead. It's, his, um, his, dead souls. Not dead souls. Dark fucking souls. dark souls. Oh, God. I'll finish that when he finishes that. But uh, other than that, I mean, I'm on Twitter, but I'm not. Uh, I really don't. Yeah, on Twitter. I'm, I'm on Twitter, but I really don't give my name out. Why don't you I follow? Don't. Why don't you? Why don't you follow me? Because uh, then you know who I am. Because <laughs> fuck you. Guys. I, I've only known you for over ten years. I, I, I literally, I literally just went from, I, I, I literally just went on Tumblr a lot to look at art, and a lot of the artists were like, "Hey, we're going to Twitter." So I made a Twitter just to follow them on fucking Twitter because none of them go to Tumblr anymore. Ever since they were like, "Protect the children, no more, uh, no more porn, no more non safe work shit." No and more porn. That too. So. I don't. I don't understand exactly why. Um, you that's just because me. Yahoo bought out Tumblr, and Yahoo was like, "We don't want this shit here no more." And then Apple was like, "Okay," and they took Tumblr off the Apple Store, which and, and pretty bad. Tumblr was like, "Okay, all right, no more." We get it. We get it. We get it. No more underage chill, kids on our channel. Bro. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! But that was like one of the biggest things. It was like, uh, it was like apparently a lot of kids or underage folk were uh, using it as a. Uh, I don't know, just well, and that I concludes should... today's episode. No, I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons. And, like, when he put that auto filter up, it was just removing everything. Yeah. Like, God forbid it was a rock that kind of looked like a tit. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw this one. What, it, it when, like, what ended up happening? <laughs> what, it, 
another thing that ended up happening was that, uh, an unfortunate side effect is that a lot of pedophiles went from Tumblr to Twitter. But the, the thing was, a lot of people on Twitter were not having it. Yeah. And we're calling out a lot of the, uh, the pedophiles and uh, people were. It's been really weird because people are like, "Oh, don't, don't, uh, don't shame them for being pedophiles." And it's like, what? Look, there's a lot that I won't shame a person for, but if you're over here telling me that you're attracted to twelve-year-old little girls, I'm, I'm gonna let you know that that's a problem. I need help. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you want a fucking turtle? Hey, by all means, <laughs> if it if it lives, you, you know, masturbate to it all you want to. But you over here trying to pull mm. up to a sixth grader? I'm gonna fucking sock you in the face. Yeah, you, you do the, do your do your do with the turtle. But if you if you're answering the door on Halloween, you got an issue. <laughs> 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 don't do that. But yeah, uh, I mean, I don't really have any social media other than Facebook, yeah. YouTube, and. Yeah. The Twitter that I'm not. Oh, uh, what about your DeviantArt page? Oh, uh, that's uh, that's Matt one three three four six at DeviantArt. That's not wrong. That's actually true. So if you want to look at my old fan fiction and old art and make fun of me for it, go ahead. It's whatever. I was a big Sonic well, faggot. People are gonna go on there and they're gonna be like, "Wow, this guy likes Boktai. What a faggot." The thing that makes me sad about looking at my DeviantArt though is that like I, you can see my art progressively getting better and then it just stopped because I went to college, I had homework, and I was scared. <laughs> Remember that that's time fun. you were starting to become a furry artist? No. Yeah, you drew that. You drew that one person as a. Remember? No. You, it was a Radio Shack. You drew him as a furry, because he yeah. asked you because he was a, wanted to be a wolf. What are you talking about? With George, you don't remember that? Oh, that wasn't Radio Shack. Why'd you say Radio Shack? Because you drew it at Radio Shack. He asked me standing. to draw him as a Sonic character, so I drew him as a Sonic character. It was a. Oh, okay. I thought it was a wolf. Well, he wanted the character to be a wolf, so I, but I drew him in like in a Sonic. Man, I was literally you were at the counter. I was standing. I know, but he said, "No, no, you can look it up. It's not bad. Like it's literally like I drew I drew a bunch of Sonic characters, Boktai, and like my own characters. That's all." Yeah, I Matt was becoming a furry artist. He didn't want people no. to know. I don't consider Sonic furry, and like all the furry artists have like that stupid like elongated nose and weird human bodies. And look, as long as they're not twelve year old wolves. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will be answering the door on Halloween time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're out. See you later. <laughs>